You are no doubt here because you have discovered that while Canvas will allow you to do all sorts of nice things with its equation editor, it will not allow you, at least by pressing some of these various buttons that it gives you, to create a column vector, a matrix, or an augmented matrix. I'll show you how to do all of these three things by writing a few lines of code. The first thing you want to do is go down to this bar at the bottom and switch on the directly edit LaTeX. Let's start by doing a column vector. Now a column vector is just a matrix with a single column, so we'll really be doing two things at once here. We start with some bookends. The first line of text we're going to write is backslash begin, and then inside of braces we're going to write P matrix. The other bookend, which I'll put on a different line, is backslash end P matrix, again in braces. Those lines just tell the little demon that lives inside of Canvas what all of the stuff that we are going to write in between refers to. And you can see down below an open set of parentheses. Those will expand to accommodate our matrix. The P in P matrix tells Canvas to put this matrix inside of parentheses. Some people prefer their matrices inside of brackets, in which case you could write B matrix. But anyway, I've left a little space here where I'm going to enter my matrix, or my column vector, row by row. Let's start with a column vector whose entries are 1, 4, and 7. Your first thought might be to put a 1, a 4, and a 7 on successive lines, but Canvas, or rather LaTeX, doesn't acknowledge the difference between one line and the next. The different lines here are just for the sake of human comprehension. To tell it that we want these to refer to different rows, we put two backslashes at the end of each row. So double backslash after one, double backslash after four. Those double backslashes tell it, start a new row. And that's it. And now we can see below we have our column vector 1, 4, 7. If we wanted a matrix, let's say the 3x3 three three telephone matrix, whose rows are 1, 2, 3, and then 4, 5, 6, and then 7, 8, 9, we just have to expand each row. So in the first row, we want 1, 2, and 3. To tell Canvas to move to the next entry in the same row, we use an ampersand. So in that first row, we're going to have 1, ampersand, 2, ampersand, 3. And there we see it below. Now I'll do the same on the second row, ampersand, 5, ampersand, 6. And finally, on the third row, ampersand, 8, ampersand, 9. And there is our matrix. If we press done, it appears exactly where we want it to. So, huzzah. Okay, finally, an augmented matrix. Let's just use the matrix we have, and what we'll want to do is get a vertical line between the second column and third column. This is a bit more of a pain, but it's not that big a deal once you get used to it. So anyway, let me go back and edit this, and I'll show you how it's done. First, when we want an augmented matrix, the P matrix command isn't going to help us anymore. So instead of that, we're going to strike it out and put in its place array. Same story at the end, of course. And you notice that the parentheses have disappeared. So has the 1 for some reason, but it will come back in a moment. What we can do now is, after that first bookend, that begin array, we're going to put also in braces C, C, vertical line, C, and then close the braces. And you see what that does. It puts the vertical line exactly where we want it. As you might guess, that CC vertical line C indicates column, column, then the vertical line, then the column. Well, that looks really good, except that we no longer have parentheses around the matrix. How do we get them? You might reasonably ask if we can write P array instead of just array, but that doesn't work. Instead, what we have to do is tack something on the beginning and the end. So I'm going to put an initial line that says backslash left parentheses and a line at the end backslash right close parentheses. And that does the job nicely. Press done. Huzzah! We win. And that's all she wrote. So, go forth and conquer.